Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through my top gym must-haves for the year of 2020. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bang here. This is... Ugh. Okay, so this first item I actually bought myself as a Christmas present just a couple weeks before Christmas and I'm pretty sure I've worn them 95% of the day since. I love them. I love them so, so much. In the gym, out of the gym, I'm always in these shoes. So these are high top Converse. These are just like the burgundy color. I've worn Converse in the gym for the past few years, which is always the low top and just like gray or black, just keeping it basic. But these are my new favorites. These are just high top Converse. I love wearing Converse in the gym for a leg day. You won't see me on leg day without Converse. I love a flat sole for my deadlifts, for my squats as well. Just any leg movements. I really, really like having the flat foot. Moving on to headphones because mm, if I worked out without headphones, I might not be working out three years into my fitness journey. But I think headphones are so important. I love having my own music. When I work out in the gym, I like feeling like I can just tune the world out. I can just do what I want, lift heavy, ignore everyone around me, and just be in my own little world. It is just, mm, it makes me happy. So these are the Beats by Dre headphones. These are the wireless headphones. I like these because I like that they're over ear because they tune everything in the world out. It is just so nice knowing you can go into the gym and... Like, I'm an extrovert. I love people, but also, when I work out, I just want to work out. That's all I want to do. So it's so nice. You can just put these on, put them over your ears, and get your lift on. Have music blasting in there, and whoo. These guys allow me to lift nice and heavy. Moving on to a hip thrust pad. So, ugh, 2019 was a year of, hmm... 2019 was a year of a lot of ups and downs, but it was also a year of a lot of a glute growth for your girl. I freaking hated hip thrust for a long, long time, like no joke. Mm, every, every like day I'd go into the gym and say I was going to do hip thrust, and guess who didn't do hip thrust? It was me. But I finally got on the path to hip thrust because I know they're so important, and I'm slowly but surely starting to love them. Mentally, it's not an exercise I love doing. I hate setting up the bar. I hate getting under the bar. I just, mm, it's just not my favorite exercise when I'm doing it. It's the outcome I like out of it. But I finally have convinced myself to... I want to say like it, we're not on a love relationship yet, but we're getting there. So for hip thrust, I do think having a hip thrust pad is an absolute essential. I don't even think I could put one plate on each side without a hip thrust pad. You don't want bruised hips. That's just not something you need in your life. It's not worth it. So if your gym doesn't have a hip thrust pad, go online, go on Amazon. You can get them pretty much anywhere. They're like $20. I'd highly suggest getting a hip thrust pad. Okay, moving on to just a little accessory. I made the switch from just regular hair elastics that just damage your hair and are awful to scrunchies and at first I hated it because I thought it made me look like I was 12 but I really have learned to love it and now I cannot live without my scrunchies. I highly suggest getting a pack of them. You can get them at Lululemon. They're a little bit more expensive there. I think they're like $8 something like that or you can just go to thrift stores. London drugs, you can get them pretty much anywhere. So I'd highly suggest getting a few scrunchies. Protect your hair. It is so dang important to protect your hair. And also, I don't know, little top buns and scrunchies, I just think are the cutest thing ever. So yeah, you'll see me in top buns all the time in the gym now. So these are just some low socks. So these guys, I can put in my Converse and you won't be able to see them. And that is a huge thing for me. I either like high socks or very, very low socks. I do not like the middle ground where you can see the top of the sock. I'm not here for that lifestyle. So I think it's really important to invest in some really short socks. So these are Nike. They were a Christmas present a year ago. They're still in flawless shape, so they hold up really nicely, but they are fairly expensive. So you can always just go to a shoe store and get cheaper ones. Just know that the cheaper ones will likely slide off your feet throughout the workout. So I suggest investing in some expensive ones, maybe some cheap ones as well. That's actually what I have done. I have a, I want to say I have four pairs of expensive ones and then I just have a bunch of cheap ones just for when I haven't done the laundry. I have run out of all the good ones. I can just throw in the other ones and yeah, it's fine. Okay, moving on. This is the exact opposite. So I have this new found love for high socks. I don't know what it is, but high socks with my high top Converse. Ooh, that just gives me life, you guys. There's nothing that makes me want to lift heavier in the gym than my Converse. With their high tops and then my high socks, it is just a good, good set. So these are Nike socks. They go up, I want to say, 
just to the bottom of my calf so they are fairly high but obviously not too high I love them I have six pairs of these guys and I wear them every day of the week and then once these are out I'll swap to my short socks until I do laundry again yes I absolutely suggest these with my whole heart I love them to death they're breathable they're cute and they just make me feel tough in the gym I need water mmm okay I really really think it is so so worth it to invest in a good size water bottle when I go into the gym I have my pre-workout I have it in a shaker bottle but then when I'm actually working out and when I'm just continuing on with my regular day I like to have a separate water bottle that is a little bit bigger so I got this guy for Christmas this is a BKR water bottle if you know me I I talk about this guy like it is the love of my life I mmm I'm so happy I got this water bottle so I love these bottles. It is exactly one liter, so I aim to drink three of these a day. It's keeping me hydrated, it's keeping me healthy, it's keeping my skin nice. And yes, I just, I love her. I love her so much. I love her so much that I have a matching phone case to her because I bring them out everywhere. Moving on, this is an expensive one, but for me it was very, very well worth it. This is something that I would not purchase unless I had the funds to purchase. So if you are brand new to the gym, if you don't know if you're going to keep up with the gym yet, or if you're just not financially able to get this, don't worry about it. You do not, by all means, need to have this item to be successful in your fitness journey. But it is something that really aids me and I'm really, really happy I purchased. So this is just an Apple Watch. This is the Series 4. I got it a year ago and I love her to death. I wear her every single day. This just allows me to track my workouts. I can play my music out of it. I can text out of it. It is just so nice because I don't need to have my phone on me for anything. I can go to the gym hook up my wireless headphones to this guy, keep my phone in the cubby so I'm not checking Instagram every five seconds, and I can just work out, track my workout, track my calories burned, and just see where my heart rate is, see how intense my workout is, things like that. So it is definitely a staple for me now, but you do not need it to succeed in your fitness journey at all. It is just helpful and very nice to have. Moving on to some clothes, I just have two clothing items. First off, the Gymshark Flex Shorts. I, mm, I am here for long shorts this year like these guys go I don't know they're a few inches above my knees but they're definitely a long line short as you can see I love them I think they're so cute I wear these shorts every single week and I highly suggest them so it has the glute contour that Gymshark's flex leggings have which I love it's not too too bold but it is there and it just makes your butt look really really good as the Gymshark name up up on the top and it is very high-waisted I Hmm. These these shorts with a nice sweatshirt, like this guy, this is literally just a Forever 21 sweatshirt. It's like $12. It's a men's sweatshirt, extra large. Um, I wear this all the time in the gym. I love it, and I just, yeah, I like my sweatshirts paired with my shorts and my high converse for leg day. It is just a staple for me. It Mm, it's good. You can see all your leggings in these guys. It is perfect, and you don't have to worry about them riding up because they're already long line. Oh, it's good. It is good. I have an addiction to gym clothes. I'm not going to deny it. Everyone knows it. I purchase way more than I ever should, but I do think it is important to have just one or two, okay, maybe more than one, but a few staple pairs of leggings for the gym. You need to have a few outfits to wear to the gym. So my favorite is the Lululemon Align leggings. Obviously, yes, it's Lululemon. It is a little bit more pricey, but I do think if you get just a neutral color like these are the gray you can really wear the heck out of them you can wear them to school you can wear them to the grocery store you can wear them to the gym and they're just so comfortable so flattering I absolutely love the Align leggings so I would highly suggest getting one or two pairs of these but next I want to talk about glute bands so before every one of my leg workouts I do a glute activation exercises I do this not only to warm up my glutes get them ready to lift heavy but also so that when I am lifting heavy more effort is being used by my glutes, aka I'm able to grow my glutes more. So I do this every single leg workout. I just put this around my thighs, just above my knees, and I'll do some kickbacks, I'll do some squats, exercises like that with this on because it really, really allows the exercises to target my glutes so that my bum can grow because we're all about that glute growth here. All right, last item of today is Nike Air Runners, obviously. You don't need these particular runners, these are just the ones I have. I just suggest getting a pair of everyday runners, whether they're white or black. I like white, half my gym clothes, or at least half my gym shirts are white, so my shoes I like to match. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas for some things that you can take to the gym that will allow you to feel a little bit more comfortable, allow you to have better workouts, and make sure you subscribe to my channel just down below. Give the video a thumbs up, support your girl's channel, and I'll see you in the next video.